Hello, Valtopia. Hello. Hi, honey. Welcome to the Valtopia TV stream. It's Saturday, April 25th, 2020. It's 3.43 Pacific Standard Time here in Venice Beach, California. And I'm chilling in my studio apartment. My boys are next door playing together, playing some video games. And I'm here to show up with you. I have another powerful live stream for you today. And I have my cards and we're bringing through a reading for the collective today. So share the live stream and tell me hello and let's get started. Let me share this around. I'm kind of hot. I had my window closed because the neighbors were jamming out. Tell me how you are. And this live stream is for you if you're feeling the cosmic weather. Maybe you have a neck ache. Maybe your throat is tight. I was reading in them. Uh, one of my spiritual business groups where a lot of people were feeling physical body symptoms as Pluto shifts, as the cosmic lineup shifts. And um, for you, it may not be, you may not be experiencing it. Hi, Jamie, as a body reaction, you may be experiencing some emotions you maybe haven't felt in a while, or you may be experiencing certain levels of frustration that you haven't experienced. So I want to talk to you today about um, to those of you who are savvy business owners, entrepreneurs, creators, who are feeling this cosmic weather and want to learn how to shift the, the, the responses you might have to the transits that feel difficult into extreme power and money for yourselves. Doesn't that sound good? So if you love this, then I want you to say, oh my gosh, I'm ready, Val. And let me share this live stream to my page. This is my business page, welcome. Um, I'm gonna share it to my, my home page and also to my free group, Valtopia. You're welcome to join us in Valtopia. Um, I do share a little bit more about myself in there and sometimes some more intimate little stuff. Um, and I keep it all business and good stuff on my page and my business page. So just trying to load this up and get some more crew on here. And as you guys know, um, or maybe don't know, there, you know, we had a new moon last week and then we are having different transits. And the rest of this year, the cosmic transits are gonna be quite powerful. And when I say quite powerful, what I mean is they are designed to extricate from us and integrate parts of us that we might not do consciously. Ooh, look at me getting all glowy. And so, um, rather than feel uh, distracted or maybe even a little bit overwhelmed by the transits, allow them to guide you and use them as such powerful um, inspiration to understand yourself more powerfully. And if you can, invest in guidance to have someone look at you with your triggers and with the emotion that comes up. But that is the fastest way to get past um, painful, stuck, um, frustrating patterns of behavior that aren't serving you. And this weather can just really bring it up into focus and let you get into states of alignment so much more rapidly. So um, let me share it to Valtopia and join us live. And then I'm gonna share it to my page too. Painful, stuck. Here we go. And hopefully we get a good crew coming on because I feel amazing and I, I my energy is, um, I've been really careful to stay in my own space and I wanna share these techniques. Hi Charlie, I'm doing a live stream. Okay, oh Charlie got a victory. Um, so I'm doing a live stream here, Charlie. I'm just sharing it to my page and then we're, I'm gonna keep going, okay? I'm, I'm live right now, okay? Bye. Okay, now I'm sharing this to my page, and then we can get started. Oh. Well, I just copied a whole bunch of stuff into there that I don't wanna copy, that's hilarious. And tell me about your Saturday, tell me about your um, awakening right now, your business. Are you coming into more aspects of your sensitivity that's empowering you? Talk to me, tell me what's happening. All right. So now I'm sharing to my page and we can get started. There we go. Okay, and if I miss you, hi Teresa, hey lovely. So um, I'm just gonna be switching, um, let me put this in front so I can see the comments uh, this way. Okay, good. I can see all the comments. 
openings. Teresa, tell me about your openings. And hello, everybody. Welcome. Hi, honey. We're just getting started. I just shared around, and um, I'm grateful to have every one of you here. Share the live stream. I am going to be doing a collective reading. And uh, this topic that I'm talking about is so perfect for you as you are a highly sensitive and savvy cosmic business entrepreneur. Uh, or business, a con cosmic entrepreneur. You're highly aware, you're highly sensitive, you're heart-centered, and these cosmic transits are really bringing up some emotional and physical feelings in your body that maybe you haven't experienced in a while, and you're like, whoa, what's going on here? How can I transform this um, response to the alignments of the planets to my advantage? So here's what's happening. Um, ooh, Teresa says she's building a team of light workers. Seeds that have been planted are growing. Yes, I love to hear that. Keep sharing. I want to hear more about that. That's awesome. Um, so that's exactly what we're coming into. Hi, Myra. We're coming into this, this a lot of transits that for some are going to feel really difficult uh, because the work that comes through um, witnessing yourself as these emotions and physical pains come to your consciousness with the support of the cosmos, these are the ways that you can um, not be blindsided, not be blind to yourself, not be split in your identities or feelings about yourself. This is a way for you to come into a wholeness about yourself that makes you so much more powerfully um, capable of earning more money, reaching soulmate clients, having soulmate relationships, and, and, and being in a space of power about yourself rather than um, uh, feeling overwhelmed by the transits. So um, I want to describe to you, last week uh, I've been working through with one of my clients, hi Patrice, to uh, through and, and, and trust that this cosmic weather is bringing up to the surface uh, feelings about yourself that you need to know that maybe you haven't been able to access because um, it just wasn't clear to you until suddenly you find your neck really tight or suddenly you find some pains in your lower chakras and maybe you're even getting sick or your stomach is upset. Maybe you're having a response and you're wondering, well, what is this about? Um, I saw a whole thread of a bunch of people confused and wondering why they're feeling all this. And I remember when I felt like that. And um, what was happening was, parts and places inside of me that uh, that were still caught up in the past paradigm that I was asking to shift out of were resonating more powerfully, hi Patrice, than the parts of me that were moving into a new paradigm. And we're all moving into a new paradigm right now. And each cosmic transit invites us to grow. We're always evolving and growing. And when we move, uh, when we are stimulated by these experiences to feel a pain in our neck or a tightness in our throat what it's inviting us to do is look at what that emotion or tightness it represents for us and I'm not talking to beginners here we're talking to those of you who have worked through this stuff um, and understand at a deep level uh, and suddenly maybe old-time feelings are coming up that you haven't felt in a long time so for example with my client last week this transit that we're going through right now is all about making the moves. Make the moves, make the moves. So you wanna be detailed and you wanna go deeper. You don't wanna be surface level. And so if you're feeling really frustrated right now in your relationships or maybe you're not connecting to the sales like you intended, there's a good chance that you're not going deep enough within yourself. And this resistance that you're feeling in your body, this pain situation, can really be a clue as to where you're too tight holding on to the past within yourself without knowing it. And this is what this is about. Hi Sandy, it's about not knowing that you're still living in parts and pieces of you in allegiance to a belief system that you're actually asking to release and shift out of. Because no belief system that we have um, is can just stay and we stay with it. We're constantly evolving and our beliefs and our um, support of ourselves and the choices that we make um, evolve with our growth. And so these, this cosmic weather will bring up and extricate dark parts of ourselves that we've let go or we've ignored 
in order to bring to the front parts and pieces that need to be in awareness. Hi, Priscilla. Excuse me. And so as I was saying, this, this, this cosmic transmission is all about making the moves. The word of the week, and I was talking about this all last week, and then I went and listened to all the astrologers, and I was like, I'm always on point. I, go, I give my prescriptions, usually I'm coming on now live on Tuesdays, and I share what I'm coming through. And with my client this week, it was all about the decision, making decisions, being decisive. Now, many of us who are advanced in this self-care and self-help work where we learn about ourselves and improve our lives through examining our own behavioral patterns and shifting our beliefs and rewiring our brain and regenerating our body and cellular structure to become more aligned to who we really know we are versus maybe what we've been told we have to be, right? Well, this, this, these pains that come up, these fights that may come up in your relationships, these experiences that you may be, that it may be ex inspired by transits are here to show you where you've been in denial, suppression, ignoring yourself, letting yourself go because it was convenient or easy. And um, it's vital for you. It's, it's going to make your life easier and more rapidly uh, successful. You're going to come into your results more quickly if you can take a look at what's coming up for you and examine it with curiosity. And that's where people get stuck <laughs> because uh, you'll be in physical pain, you're exhausted, and you don't really know how to get in there and look at the physical energy. Maybe you don't know how to move the energy out of your body. Maybe you don't even know how to identify the emotions and the energy within yourself, even though you're advanced at helping others. That's There's no shame in your game because most of us have, as children, are taught to suppress and tone down and and shape our own feelings according to, to what our parents need. And so uh, many of us who are highly empathic and sensitive and do make incredible leaders and healers and visionaries and or oracles must go through a process of learning to embody your own feelings as a mature, grounded, embodied um, individual having moved through the emotions and the, and the wounding that you might have experienced as a child. And you can be way advanced in many areas and still feel split or um, distracted from those parts of yourself and need to come in and do the work. And I'm telling you right now, with this weather, uh, the cosmic weather of decision, this lineup of um, communication is essential right now. It's everything. And not surface level communication. Because we're not being fooled by that surface anymore. We're all becoming energetic beings and we're understanding each other in a much deeper way. And if you haven't yet um, transitioned into deeper level of awareness to yourself and expressing those emotions with confidence and compassion to others and letting yourself have easy boundaries that fill out your space and, and that others respect. These are all the kind of things that we're all working through it to get into alignment with our soul mission and our passion and our purpose. And anywhere that we're still in allegiance to beliefs and programs and paradigms, they don't align to our soul vision will be extremely highlighted in these cosmic transits. Hi, Jen. And so let yourself see what's there. And if all this is sounding like, I want to do this, but I'm not quite sure what, how to get in my body. I don't know how to identify these emotions. This is what I'm here for. This is my gift. My gift is to illuminate and trigger these emotions within you to come up to the surface so we can examine and see, hi Nietzsche, your patterns of behavior that you were born with. You're born as you are, and then you get to work with what, what and who you are to bring out the best of yourself and to help yourself have a good experience. And um, the work that I do is about recognizing where in your life you haven't been in alignment with what's uh, true for your highest resonance and most successful experience. So when you have, like I said, this week is all about decision. And if you have made a decision and you, you've you even invested money and you're moving forward in that decision and then you begin to doubt and question yourself and split your energy around what you're doing. You could maybe show up in your business, show up live, make offers every day, share what you have and still not get the results that you said you were gonna, that you decided you were gonna get. How many of you have experienced that? I mean, me, over and over, because this is something we're learning. We're learning a new paradigm of creation for ourselves. And many people try this stuff and think they're supposed to get it right away. 
It's like anything in life. You get to practice and become better and better and better every day. It's a pleasure to become better and better every day. And these cosmic transits are here to bring us into um, a more powerful state of awareness of ourselves, to tap into those places where we used to be hurt and allow them to create faith. Where we had fear, we are converting into faith. Faith meaning, I know I got this. I know why I'm here. I know what I wanna do and this is how I'm doing it being in this way that's aligned to me, that lights me up, that's what I was meant for. So that you don't have this, spend all this time in your life asking everybody else and questioning what you did and worrying about other people's response to what you did on some level. You may be a past the people pleasing and still be experiencing people pleasing tendencies in your patterns. And, and so the headache you're feeling may be resistance to receiving new downloads because you don't believe blah, blah, blah. Right? And it's a matter of shifting a perspective and also releasing the energy. It could be instantaneous, uh, which then creates an expanse and suddenly you have a new idea and a new connection and your life is changing, right? Sandy says, giving myself grace and allowing the ideas to flow, letting go of the have to and following my energies. Yeah, yeah, well, everything right now is about making moves and deciding and I've also been in the energy, Sandy, of resting and regenerating and really knowing before I make those decisions what's true for me. And what's true for me has to come from me witnessing myself and feeling myself. And, um, and so I guess for me, I felt way tired last week and had a lot of emotional um, journeys with my cycle. And um, now I'm on the other side of it. I tend to have my stuff before the moon happens and then on the other side of the moon, I'm feeling chill. So I saw a lot of people flurrying today. They must be on the other side of the moon. So maybe they felt better last week and now they're coming into this energy where you've got to decide. You get to decide. And the decision energy isn't one of saying, well, I, I, I wanna do this, so I'm gonna do it. But what if I don't make my money back? That is not a decision. <laughs> that is not a decision. So I want to explain something. This week, um, I had an experience where a, a, um, a client made a decision and there was a lot of that kind of fear happening. It's a pattern. And when the decision was made, even though it wasn't fully made, money did come in. Hi, Holly. I was thinking about you this morning. I was going to check in on you. Money did come in. Unexpected money that hasn't been coming in for years came in even though there was this almost this energy of doubt, but it didn't just come in that easy. We had to look at a lot of beliefs and fears and feel the energy in the body. And trust me, it wasn't comfortable. It wasn't comfortable. And that is, that is the secret to coming out on the other side, knowing yourself better, trusting yourself, and being able to make decisions and create on demand what you want in your life is to be able to stay through that discomfort to understand what it means for you and what it no longer means for you. That's the biggest part, is knowing that what you're feeling is temporary and is an indication of what you need. And that's where people get really tripped up, especially those of you who come to me. You know what you need, but you're not gonna admit it because it's either much too magical, and right now the current version of you is like, well, that's just like too much. No, it's not. No, it's not too much. <laughs> and so you, even though you have all the intuition and you could see everything, there's an instant cutoff, that split, that says, no, you can't have that, so let's just go ahead and tone it down a little bit and bring it into this box. And you keep trying to bring it into this box because that's what seems like the safest thing to do, and that's where you're cock blocking yourself. And this cosmic weather is gonna make you feel irritated and frustrated and come into awareness of where you're squashing yourself into a box that is never gonna let you self-expand into who you are. I've done this so many times, and <laughs> Thank you, Teresa says, I'm such a beacon. Love you, sister, on point, right? So I, I know, because this is what I do with my clients and this is what I've been doing with myself. <laughs> so let this cosmic weather, uh, if you're an empath and you are a boss leader and you are guiding yourself and others, let this painful emotional rise within you be um, a, a wonderful, um, Pandora's box of creation for yourself. The only time these painful, emotional wounding holds you back is when you don't explore and heal them. 
<laughs> Burp it out. Um, yes, money blessings are happening. Good, Holly. Good. I want to hear it. Let's hear it. Let's celebrate Holly and let's give Holly some so much love. Um, you know, if you think about this energy inside of you, where you may still be attached to a story that you can't have what you want or everything has to be difficult or money doesn't come easily, even though you've done the money work and you've done the stories, but somewhere inside of you, there's still an allegiance to maybe some abuse that happened a long time ago that made you think that. And you know the story and you've done the work, but every time that things comes up, like someone's throat is getting so tight right now, like so tight. And you feel that and it's enough to make you realize oh, I'm not ready for that. Like that, this current version of you has an allegiance to a paradigm that says you can't. And when you tune into that energy and really feel it and open it up with my support or um, the work that it takes to identify the energy, identify the emotion, identify where it came from, identify the pattern you're doing for yourself, and then identify how you want to shift it and then do the work of shifting it. That's, that can all happen really rapidly. It's the consistency and the decision to fully change everything about you to the new paradigm of belief that you're choosing, that you're choosing. And uh, this, these cosmic weather that can make you feel overly emotional really, um, bring situations into your life that you think why is this happening it's a blessing to guide you to stuff you wouldn't see otherwise and if you can work with someone like me intensely over the next few weeks um, to take a look at what's coming up what what happens with all that energy that's been tied up in your body into other people's opinions other people's beliefs it saves you so much time when you clear that out what decisions you couldn't make before because you had so much attachment to other people now you make with clarity and that energy that you used to spend spinning your wheels lagging looping and indecision giving it away to other people you're now spending creating for yourself what you're me meant to and others align into that energy and begin to help themselves more powerfully because not only have you given them back their energy, but your, your energy is so powerful and glowing and illuminated from within, you actually create a change within the reflection you see of others around you. And that's, I think, one of the biggest things that I've learned and my clients have learned in this work. When you do the work to shift yourself, then the external results come, not the other way around. Can I get an amen? You don't see external results and then change. You change first inside. You decide I'm going to change whether you have the money or the thing or the result or the evidence or not. It's like a non-negotiable. It's a non-negotiable that you have decided and that these things are going to happen and you have to believe and receive. I yes, Charlie. Burrito. Oh my gosh, John wants a burrito. Okay. This isn't celebrate. This is on the main live stream. Are you okay with that? Want to say hi? Hello. Yeah. Do you want to pull a card for everybody? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Priscilla says, Amen. All right. So, with that in mind, here's what I want to say. The work that I've been doing with my clients is so fast, it's instant. And then they're getting instant results with their clients. The ripple effect is tremendous. When you do this work, you shift the dynamic of how you relate to yourself, how you make decisions about and for yourself and towards others. And that means that everything in your life begins to reflect what you truly desire or were meant to do. And then everything comes in together. What happened? The whiteboard in the back of the thing. Probably. Are these the keys that you, cards, no. What card? Oh, these. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, sweetie. All right. No, I'm going to go before I can get home. Okay. Um, all right. So, I forgot what I was going to say or what I was saying. Um, but this is, this is, here we go. Your awareness of where you haven't forgiven yourself and others inside of you is the key to your success. Can I say that again? Hey, Kareen, your awareness 
of where you haven't forgiven yourself and others and you're still attached to a story that you're victim or powerless to others and you're not in sovereignty and choice of your own experience, the key to, to your success is finding where inside of yourself you're still in allegiance to something that isn't true for you. So what's not true for you as you're watching this? And who would like me to pull, tune in with you? Um, I really have been feeling the Sacred Rebels Oracle, the, the Sacred Rebels Oracle deck. I'm willing to turn tune in to one of you and, and see where, especially if it's you with this throat chakra, we can clear this energy where you're um, not being able to forgive or detach resonance with something that isn't true, a program or a belief or a paradigm that isn't true for you. Good, Holly, what stuck out for you the most? Repeat it so that your mind um, gets it and so do others. I want you to really uh, bring it home. Uh, I'm glad, I'm glad. So I had a powerful experience. Do you guys remember a few weeks ago? Thank you, Priscilla. Do you remember a few weeks ago, right after we started our, really began the, this whole experience of where, what we're in right now, uh, I did the reboot to the reboot. And one of you, t one of you um, took the reboot and invested in having me to yourself. It was a, a one-on-one one -on -one session. And this session was so powerful and this client got back to me yesterday and I'm gonna be sharing those results with you. It's so exciting. She just did one hour session with me. And what she realized from the session is that she already had what she needed. She already knew, but there were stuck and tight places inside of her that were letting, not letting her see and feel how embodied she already was and how much she had already learned. And she said, I know doing the work with you is gonna make it so much faster. Like, it's so fast with you. And it was instant, she was instantly healed. And I said, what is it that, that changed you the most? And she said it was the tones, the tones. So I'm gonna go look at this session that I did with her today. And I'm gonna take out the parts of the session that can transform you. And I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna offer it. So, and that'll be like a self-guided study for a few hundred dollars. So, uh, like for those of you that would like to know more about this, put in the comments. I want to know more about that session, the Tony session, that opened up your client and and had she had instant healing. Um, it could be that you really respond to my energy and voice, and this is what's going to help you connect both sides of your brain to be in a sort of wonderful state of hypnosis, so that you change um, your mind about things that are no longer are true for you. And you can really begin to enjoy the being that you are and not be caught up in um, invisible limitations and not understanding why you can't get past a certain point. If that's what you feel, this sort of frustration, because you keep going into something and then you just kind of keep tripping up or something keeps happening, that is a pattern that you can change by changing your inner body awareness of yourself. Sandy says... Tons of creative energy. I put down the school books to let the magic happen. I was so resistant, struggling to concentrate, and now I'm allowing my creativity to rise. Yay! Yes, the being, right? The being over the doing, right? And that's something I've been talking a lot about too. And so being is how you come into decision, right? If you're busy doing a bunch of stuff and you're just in your monkey mind and you're just thinking, and I gotta do, and I gotta do, and I gotta do, you are not making a decision with your being. And it is making a decision with your being that changes your life. So what's, what's an example of that? that? An example of that is um, I want a new client. I sit down and I write a post and post it and then I go do my workout and all that stuff. Nothing happens. I wrote a good post, uh, but the energy wasn't there. Let's change it around. Instead of being like, I gotta get this done and then I'm gonna go relax. I go and I do my yoga. I play some music, I paint. I spend some time with my kids. I go up on the roof and look at the sky in LA. 
I'm filled with inspiration and I, I'm filled with my own beingness. I'm like a plant. I've been filled with sunshine and love from my kids and I'm clear. Then I write my post. It's fire. People reach out to five people reach out to me on Messenger because my energy is present. I took care of myself first. And I'm clear and present. People say to me all the time, your energy is so amazing. It's because um, I'm letting myself be quiet and peaceful within and then bringing that energy to everything I do. You get to do that too. Yes, says Cindy. Holly says, yes, my pattern is cyc cyclic and toxic. I struggle with stepping outside the cycle and applying the new tools that I'm learning. Yeah, Holly, you're going to love the articles I wrote this week about feeling split. And I've been doing some really deep dive work with my clients through this. The splitness, and I've done the work with myself and I'm still coming into integrity. So let's, let's talk about this, Holly. Let's talk about the word integrity because we had this happen this week with my, where, and I've had this happen for myself where the word integrity, when somebody says to you, you're out of integrity, triggered fuck out of me, right? Because it made me feel like I did something wrong. There's something wrong with me. There ain't nothing wrong with you, but if you're out of integrity, it just means you're not whole. It means part of you is in one dimension and part of you is in another. And for those of us that do really tune into our cosmic being, and maybe we've had abuse and had to leave our body because it was such a horrifying experience, our soul was like, ah, this is, crazy and so you're living your life split where you have a memory of this trauma and part of you still is totally unwilling to come back into your body at that space because it's too horrible to remember or maybe you had a past life experience maybe your your family line is um, um immigrant ancestry and there's been a lot of trauma in your family line and you what you were literally born to expect to be harassed and troubled for life and so you your, your whole mindset, perception, and cultural conditioning is taught that it's going to be hard and take forever and you don't get what you want and you can never blah, blah. And meanwhile, your spirit inside is like, fuck that. I got stuff to do and I'm alive. And so thankfully, you let that part of you guide you up and out of the paradigm, up and out of the paradigm, up and out of the paradigm. And the little girl that you were that wants to be nice and be a nice citizen and get along and be a part, you know, you're in service. Of course you want to get along and be a part of the team. That's like part of your energy. The rebel inside of you is like, some of this ain't right and is totally not aligned to who I am. And that's where you get to come into integrity. And that splitness is going to be where those parts and places of you where you don't feel you have permission to let them go and truly be yourself. And all you got to do is push through that physical, mental discomfort of I'm not allowed to do this and ask yourself, wait a minute, am I allowed to do this? Am I really not allowed to do this? Ask, get curious with yourself. Ask yourself questions. Like get in a journal, get your journal and, and, and write down, my throat's tight. My throat's really tight. When I think about my throat being tight, I think about this. And then just like start examining. Well, is that true? Am I really incapable and a fucking idiot and blah, 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 like whatever comes up for you? <laughs> no, you're not. And you know what? 20 million times out of zero, I mean 20 million times out of everything, I don't know what kind of expression I'm trying to say, but most times, every time, if you're just running dialogue in your head, that shit's spinning out of control. And the minute you write it down or speak it to somebody, you go, that's so stupid. But until you said it, it was like this thing hanging over you and determining everything you were doing. And you weren't taking the time to go, oh, that is such bullshit. I can't believe I've been thinking that all morning. No wonder I pissed 10 people off. <laughs> right? All right. So, um... You're amazed. You're so right. Yeah. We are so powerful and our pain is our power when we have the willingness to look at it. And I'm going to say something here. A lot of us spiritual people, uh, I'm a very grounded spiritual person because I, I wasn't even into the woo until a few years ago. I lived most of my life without knowing anybody that even talked about it. And so I have that really grounded kind of 3D perspective. And let me tell you, unless you bring your body into your spiritual experience and really merge and integrate all of it, you're going to feel that split and that disappointment of not manifesting what you truly desire. It's an integrated experience. This whole experience 
is about tuning into that cosmic being and passion and purpose to guide you in the collective as we are all tuned in, but bringing that into your body and being in auric field and energy and life. No matter what's going on every single day, it's our blessing. It's our blessing. And so if a lot of spiritual people, um, because you've been wounded and you want gentleness and you want peace and you don't want to feel the pain again, ever again. And so you learn to just to go where you feel right. It feels good. It feels good. And you know what? You do not grow without bursting through and having a little bit of pain. Pain leads to pleasure when you let yourself evolve and grow. And the reason a lot of spiritual people feel like they're not getting where they want is because they're not actually growing into who they are. So just like a plant, you want to plant that seed into the earth and let the minerals and the fairies and the dragons of the earth bless and nourish and revitalize your seed and it's going to burst open into the earth and grow roots into the earth and then come all the way up to the earth and then come up out into you know the world and then it has to grow a stem and leaves and then it's going to blossom and most people are like aren't even planting their seeds in the ground and if they are then they're digging them up and then they're wondering why nothing's happening you got to nourish and water your soil and you're the soil and the blossom is you when you fully believe and trust um what's coming through you so how was this for you guys? And nobody asked for the, the sacred rebel card? I love you guys. I'm so glad I could come on and, and shine an inspiration. Now, if any of you are watching in your, your um, not if, I know I'm meant to book in one of you this weekend, whether you're watching live or not. So here's what I'm gonna do. Instead of reading to one of you that are live here right now, I'm going to do a reading to my next client right now on this live stream. And hi, Krista, and you are gonna hear this reading and you're probably gonna say, oh my God, that's me. And that's okay, because the message will come through for all of us. So I'm gonna start with the diagnostic deck. And what I know about my next client who is going to sign up today for the Glow Up, it's a 5K program for three weeks, and it's an experience of doing this work of converting the past painful patterns into powerful presence of self that lets you decide, I want this and this is what I deserve in my life. I can speak it clearly to people, myself and people in my life, and I can bring it to fruition with pleasure and power. This is what we do in the three week glow up. And how can that be so rapid? Well, you have to be aligned and we're the right fit at the right moment. I've had an incredible experience. And what it is about is the person that's still locked up in that painful pattern doesn't understand the person that evolves past the painful pattern. You can't feel yourself beyond that pain until you've evolved through it. But I can see you now in full glory, minus any of That's not my pain. I'm not resonating with that pain for you, but I can feel it in your body and I can see it in your energetic pattern, soul pattern, and I can see where it's holding you back. And I can hear when I ask you the questions that are coming through, what's it doing to you? So the person that I'm working with is a powerful leader, a visionary, a creative, already has a successful business and tribe or community, however you like to say it, is bringing forward incredible healing modalities and change and is totally down with the new earth and the new world that we're living in. And this person has a lot of wonderful strategies and systems. It's maybe even a little bit analytical, but has this inner wild side, this inner sort of evolutionary creator, creatrix, that hasn't been fully unleashed. And you haven't been fully unleashed because of your childhood or because precisely because of this. You, you thrived beyond terrible circumstances, way beyond. But the way you got there isn't your natural method and now we're going to come into alignment with the way you actually do things not the way you did things to get to where you are now because the way you did things to get to where you are now was good but it's frustrating because it's way too much dependence on systems that aren't like it can be instant now you don't need to do step a b and c and plug into that thing and do this other thing and talk to that person you it's instant and you're spending a lot of time and money and energy and it's pissing you off because you know that but you're not quite sure you can't envision yet the instant efficient solution that's coming through you feel me 
All right, so this person is maybe a Wayima. Definitely control freaks. I work with control, not control freak anymore, but that level of tightness within you, it, it, it's a lack. You think you don't trust other people, but it's really you don't trust yourself somewhere deep inside of you. And it is because of this body stuff. Because the way that you felt control in your life was to control others and yourself in ways that no longer give you a sense of control. And the reason is because now, instead of feeling control by doing stuff and manipulating other people's response to you, you are going to learn to express what you want truly to yourself, to others, and shift the dynamic of these kind of funky relationships. Maybe they're a little bit codependent. Maybe they're non-responsive or avoidant. You're going to shift the dynamic of these relationships from surface level to depth, where you actually tell them what you want and they either respond or they don't and they either move along or come in closer. And you're finally gonna have these relationships with your client uh, that you've been feeling like you're missing and not understanding why. You haven't been able to get close to your clients and have that level of depth with your clients because you haven't been doing it for yourself. Do you feel me on this? And so this is definitely for star seeds. I work with star seeds. If you identify with the comment star seeds, if you don't, that's okay. The star seed idea, the supernova idea is about having this deep, luminant knowing and power within you always and uh, life circumstances have your patterns tend to have a way of dimming you down into that container that feels safe enough for others you've managed to dim your light many times in your life to make others feel safe and we're not doing that anymore we are going to free your luminosity and let others be who they are and let you be yourself and the key to your magic is expanding into your brilliance and letting yourself um, become who you are Holly says, damn, listen to you, I feel fire in your bones. Yay, good, good. Well, this body, this is the body healing card, body movement and body healing. So you that has tuned into me, this work is for you because it, um, you are such a baller and a high achiever, you have learned to completely ignore your body to get what you need and to thrive in life. And the process of you relearning how to tune in your own signals and blueprint and have efficient, rapid results in your life about everything you do is going to, you're going to have to unlearn that suppression and denial of yourself and relearn what it means to just feel what comes through you naturally. And it doesn't have to take fucking 10 years. It's instant, you guys, when you work with me. If you're lit up by my energy and love my color and watch my streams and, and, and just get a result from watching my free stuff, you need to get your ass over to Valtopia.com and fill out the application right now because this uh, response to my energy is going to be instant. And, you know, people are going to hear that instant. And if you're turned off by that, that's, that's your choice because, <laughs> because I have enough experience. When you're connected to someone who is as passionate and loving and creative and excited as I am about what I do, you feel that passion within yourself and our energy co-creates and ignites, just blasts through the bullshit. So that's what's coming with that. We are connected, we are one, and we're meant to do this work together. So the next deck I'm gonna pull from is from the, um, the Amber Annette's deck. And from this deck, I'm going to tune into, so now we, we know what the issue is. We know who the person is. I'm definitely feeling a lot of throat chakra for this person. And all my clients uh, have throat chakra witchy wounds. What's a witchy wound? A witchy wound is where you, let's just talk about how it manifests in your life. You, you may not be as visible as you'd like to be. And that can, that can look like being visible just in your relationships. Let's just not talk about being visible on a live stream or in your business or whatever. Let's talk about in your relationships. You may start out in full authority and really meet the people you wanna meet. And then as the relationships progress, you find yourself feeling a little invisible or unseen or unheard. And you don't know why. And you find yourself um, slipping into a state of being that really looks like your patterns instead of where you wanna go, okay? So this comes from that lack of awareness and that lack of depth about yourself that you're unwilling to go with for yourself and others. And this is that codependency that is kicking in when you're not willing to go in deeper for yourself and ask for what you want of others and yourself. 
You will create false timelines, false relationships, false energy within yourself that feels frustrating as fuck because it ain't your, what you want when you don't feel the feelings you need to feel and tell pe yourself and people what you need and act accordingly in your life to support those decisions, no matter how hard or difficult it is. Are you guys feeling me on this? <sighs> so this new moon may have really activated your throat chakra and I'm feeling an acute sensation in my throat. And this could be someone that's gonna watch the video tomorrow. And I want you to know, I can feel you. I feel you throughout the whole time and space. <laughs> I felt clients two months before they've come in. So this tight throat chakra is about where you are afraid to be seen, where you are afraid to see yourself, where you're afraid to speak the truth to yourself and to others, and where you live in uh, settling into other people's desires and standards instead of honoring your own and really bringing through. See, here's the hardest part. When we're all trained on this program that says we're less than and we can't have what we want, we think we're doing everybody a favor by staying in that small place. We think that's what we're supposed to do on some level. And what we're actually um, gifting ourselves and others when we actually uh, curate and manage our own energy field, emotions, and being is miraculous results that blow your mind and everyone else. And as you fully submit to the truth of your own being and the power of your own creation to feel and create from your feelings and do whatever it takes to get past not wanting to feel and deal and become a feeler and an expressor and a creator everything shifts happiness is being not seen it's safe that's what we think when we have witchy wounds we think not being seen keeps us safe and then meanwhile we're not safe at all because when you're not expressing who you are and addressing your needs and and you're doing what everybody else needs instead of yourself you're not only putting yourself at harm you're putting others at harm too So this new moon is possibly opening up and activating your throat chakra, which is asking you to honor your energetic boundaries, to honor your desires and needs. Because if you think about yourself, think about a plant. I'm just looking at my plants out here. Some have gone up this way and some have gone up this way. And we're all just like emerging and getting the sunshine we need and getting the nourishment we need. It's up to us to decide what we need and monitor it to the best of our ability. And so the old paradigm has us feeling like we're dependent on something outside of us and that we're helpless to something outside of us. And everything about the new paradigm is I'm completely fully creative within my own abundance. And whatever I do to nourish and create from myself, I will see reflected back to me on the outside. So with that in mind, <laughs> feel your emotions, right? Hi, cutie. How's it going over there? Earlier, I pulled these cards, shaman and perspective. A good shaman or energy alchemist or artist or healer or guide will shift your perspective in ways that just feel easy and natural. And that's what my gift is. And that's what I love to do. Because the perspective is telling you, this is the way things are. And when you look at different perspectives, you realize, oh my God, that's not the way things are. Which frees you to now make a decision now, instead of having the decision made for you because you're helpless and everything's already decided and you don't have a choice. That's you know that's baloney. So look at everywhere in your perspectives for yourself. Are they aligned to your soul vision? Are they aligned to who you truly are? John wants it. John still wants his burrito. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm almost done, Charlie. I was doing this great reading. And you know what Charlie said? That my next client uh, either has the name starts with an L or an F. I thought that was interesting. All right, so let's pull a question card and we'll go from there. 
ye wa wa ye mo wo ni wa wa ye mo wo ye ma a wa ye wa a wa wo mo wo ye e wa ye ma wa ye ni wo all right i'm gonna leave you with this question card why is it so easy why is it so easy i want you to an i want somebody to type this in the questions and i want you guys to answer this in your own journal and if you've watched me today and you've been lit up and you know that I'm the one for you, I want you to go and apply on Um, The glow up is three weeks. It's 5K paid in full. It's every day. And it's the kind of change that you, you never look back on and you're not the same person in the best way. And your return on investment, is, my intention is you get three to seven times your return on investment and that's actually what my clients have been experiencing. At least a full return on their investment, if not seven times the return on their investment because can you close the door, please? Or Oh, you're in here. Because your emotional uh, quotient is completely regenerated to support you instead of to work against you. The, the spots where you're blind and won't go do stuff and you've been putting it off and it's lurking in the back of your mind, you deal with that stuff. And it becomes energy and cohesion with your, your focus and your devotion and you're suddenly so empowered and you are visible to the people before you thought couldn't see you. It was a perception, it was a belief, and you were operating in that per perception and belief and putting that out there. You get to change everything about that and have a completely different result. I can't wait to see who comes into my inbox. I'm booking you this weekend. Um, let me pull the fuck cat card. Um, just imagine. Pluto shifted today. No more Venus after tonight. Things are gonna get pretty tight in terms of these cosmic transits. And you're gonna be feeling these emotions. And you're gonna be wondering how to shift these patterns. I'm here for you. I want you to sign up. I'll see you in my inbox and own your frequency. You are the miracle, okay? Dance away the self-doubt. And don't forget about your fuck yes. I'll see you on the next time. <laughs> Go to valtopia.com and fill out that application and I'll see you on the next stream.